Okay, let's continue. Let's see where we left off. So we didn't do much aside from uh, getting the Hello World up and running. Uh, so today what I would like to do is uh, add support for Wi-Fi because that's one of the strength of this device that it has uh, onboard Wi-Fi that works pretty well. So uh, let's get started. I'm, I'm not going to live code it uh, because it's actually uh, quite a lot of code to get in there and it's pretty boilerplate. Uh, you need to figure out some things, but it's not um, something you will, uh, yeah, you gain much by retyping everything. So I'll go back to uh, uh, my repository um, and uh, show this part and I'll just copy it in because that's kind of a bit uh, easier. Um, no, this is not the repository I want to go for. I want to go for um, the top one, this one. And let's have a look at the source. So, uh, if we go through this, uh, you need to pass it a bunch of things. Uh, I'll get into that uh, in a bit. Um, then uh, it, it does use async uh, uh, runner. So you'll have a block on function that will do the connect uh, right here. Uh, first we'll set up the Wi-Fi endpoint. It will uh, retrieve the IP information so it can uh, display what its IP number is because we'll need to know and then it will do a, a few pings to uh, to the the gateway so it will uh, verify that's actually working and that will return so let us first copy these two uh, oops these two functions to our project and paste it in uh, that will uh, not uh, go down without a fight. Um, so we need to do some importing. Uh, most of it is pretty uneventful. There's only one, but you have to uh, watch out because sometimes there's more than one possibility. And when you have the wrong one, uh, debugging can be tricky. So we slowly going through all the errors. Uh, this is uh, correct. We are missing the futures. I will not import this one but just qualify this one because otherwise it might get confused. So let's add anyhow because that's the error crate. Uh, okay, I go add anyhow, and let's also cargo add futures. Let's see what that does. I need to change it, then it will recompile, and then we'll see if it works or not. All right, that whole part seems to be pretty uh, happy now. Continue, uh, again, configuration, need to import it. Now this is one you need to watch out because which one is it? Well, it's definitely a Wi-Fi one, so uh, it needs to be this one. Um, client configuration should also be Wi-Fi. So not IPv4, that would be when you're connecting uh, Ethernet. You, you can do that as well, I think. Uh, authentication method, method. Okay, so we're missing a few things still. Um, first of all, let's go back to the original project um, because you need to pass some things in. Uh, so we started with the link patches just like uh, in our project, but we need to uh, uh, get some yeah things uh, so um, 
let's just get these. They, these are also pretty much boilerplate. Uh, so in our main, we initialize the logger, we set hello world, fair enough. And then we want to uh, take uh, charge of some of the hardware. First one is the per peripherals, that's basically a sort of umbrella for all the things that uh, the controller has to offer. So we take that and take ownership of the variable. The event loop we already had, timer services, uh, we're not using directly, but it's something that uh, the Wi-Fi servers needs. So let's import that one as well. And then we basically call that function. And then uh, it will also need a, 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 a persistent partition. Uh, it saves its Wi-Fi state. You don't really need to do it. You can all, this is an optional, it says some. You can also just remove and say none. Then it will not save its uh, Wi-Fi state, so it will need to completely reconnect every time. It's not the biggest deal as we're just uh, running Wi-Fi on startup. But if, um, if that were not the case, uh, then uh, for example, if you wake it up on a button press and then you want to connect Wi-Fi, then it would take a lot longer. Um, we have st still two things missing as an idea in the pass. So that's the, the access point uh, and uh, um, the password. So let's get that one as well. Um, let's go back to the Wi-Fi. And these two get uh, those constants from uh, from an environment variable. So you have to realize that it's a microcontroller, so there is no uh, actual uh, environment variables on the device uh, because um, it has no operating system. So the environment variables we are referring to here are the ones that reside on my own computer. So this gets resolved at build time and then the actual values get baked into the binary and that gets transferred to the device and then it works but that does mean that if i would take that device then to another access point and i want to change it i need to rebuild the thing and re-upload it so that that's a little bit of a bummer maybe but yeah you'll have to find a way to get those values into the device right uh, it can't be by Wi-Fi because we haven't set it up yet. So uh, that's a, a thing you'll need to configure. In my case, I have these two environment variables standard defined in my, my shells. So that should work. And then at build time, it will resolve those. All right, so there are no more errors. So let's see what uh, uh, a build does. All right, so that looks good. Um, let's, um, oh, I, I disconnected it, so let, let's add the, the camera. Oh. Get back to, ah, there it is. Okay, now it just needs to switch the camera downward. All right, so here we are. Um, so we have the device again. I have my USB cable connected to uh, my MacBook. So I'll connect that. And it will have the power light on. Uh, so let's uh, cargo ESP flash release uh, monitor. Standard. It does rebuild the last build I was, I didn't do the release one, but it makes the binary quite a bit smaller. So it's better to uh, do release builds. All right, so that worked. It's starting now. Uh, let's have a look at the 
Wi-Fi, it seems that it connected and that it has an IP. So let me, and now it completed because it uh, exited the main function. So if I go back a little bit, uh, we can see some uh, with Wi-Fi initialization. Uh, I guess the hello world should be there somewhere as well, but uh, yeah, we see the Wi-Fi starting uh, and we see it got an IP number. 10, 12, uh, 10, 11, 12, 169. Uh, it initialized, it pings a few times. So yeah, that seems to be working. All right, let's uh, leave it here. And for the next one, we're gonna do something with the Wi-Fi.